fucking hot. I shouldn't have done that. Smoked ribeye chili. Need I say more? There's a couple ways you can make chili. One is by using ground beef. You cook it in the pot, then you add all the vegetables, and you let it simmer. The other way is you cook all the vegetables and you add in, you know, like chunks of meat and let it simmer for a long time because the meat needs to tenderize. We're doing neither of those. What? <coughs> I think I swallowed a bug. Hold on. What we're doing is we're... <coughs> what we're... <coughs> <coughs> You okay there? I don't know. What we're doing is we're gonna smoke our steaks first. Let me let me rephrase that. What we're doing is we're gonna put it in. Uh, what we're do. What we're doing is we're gonna put a rub on these two giant ribeyes first. Then put them on the smoker. Then make our vegetables and the the chili part of it. Then when these come off, they'll get cut up into little cubes, and then they'll go in. This shit is going to be insane. And I've got a little surprise right near the end that you want to watch for. Because we're going to try making one thing extra on the smoker to go with it. And now that everybody's freaked out that I've touched meat, I'll quickly rinse my hands. And our rub looks like this. Lots of coarse black pepper. Some chipotle chili powder a decent amount, garlic powder, cumin, kosher salt, and a little sugar. There we mix. Mmm, smelling good already. I love the chipotle, I love the cumin, and who doesn't like pepper? Next we bring our steaks back. We give them a little shot of oil. This helps the Seasoning stick a little bit. And then we season. Liberally, just like this. And then edges too. Don't forget the edges. And then whatever's left on the paper or the counter or wherever you do it. Just mop it up with the steaks. Then pick them up and head over to the smoker. Okay, so the smoker's on to 250. Here's my steaks. We'll put these guys on. One, two. To make sure I know when they're ready, I'm gonna use my probe thermometer. I'll stick this guy in the middle. Set for about 127, there we go. And by the way, for all the people that uh, are freaking out because I touched raw meat, I just washed my hands. You didn't see it, you don't always see it. Just everybody calm down. And by the way, there's not a restaurant. It's just me eating this. If I wanna play in a mud puddle, touch a bunch of raw meat, put raw food in my mouth with those dirty raw meat mud puddle hands, I can do that. It's just me that I'm affecting. I have a restaurant. I don't do that. To Why am I explaining myself? I'm explaining myself to the two or three D-bags that continually need to remind me what I have not done. All right, for those of you that do not have a smoker, A, put it on a birthday list because they're a good thing to have. If you don't have one, here's what you do. You set your oven to 250, you do the rub Make the rub exactly like we did, but buy a little liquid smoke. It's a little tiny bottle of liquid that smells like liquid campfire. Just put a little in a bowl, brush a little bit on the steaks, then put the rub on, then put them in your oven at 250. And when they're at the temperature you want, I've set 127, I don't know why, I just have. They'll be the same as if they come off of this, sort of. But now we need to get the vegetables and the tomatoes and the beans ready for the, the chili right here. So we start by dicing, the, what are these things called? Red peppers, stand by, yellow onion and, and pasillas and jalapenos and, and garlic. All this will go in and be delicious. Red peppers first, 
And I like to take the sides off and then cut them up. Next, the pasilla. Take that out. Seeds out in my hand. Goodbye to those. This guy will cut this way. So pasillas have a little, uh, I feel like that little uh, kid that gets made fun of because he's always poking at his glasses and those, you know, movies like Sandlot, like that kid when I do that. Anyway, pasillas have a little bit more flavor than uh, green pepper. Use a green pepper if you want. Look, there will be no shortage of flavor in this chili. None whatsoever. Just keep going. The onion. Jalapeno. Some garlic will just flatten. Rough chop. And now everything will go into the pot with a little oil. Okay, so we want these guys to start to cook a bit. Just break everything up. Let them soften. Give them about uh, five minutes. Okay, so they've softened nicely. Now it's time to add uh, just a few more things. We're very close, seriously. Very close. Come on. And in goes some chili powder, kosher salt, maybe a little more. A 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. This next one is controversial because you either do or do not like beans in your chili. I happen to like them, so I'm putting them in. About a tablespoon of minced chipotle peppers and about a cup of dark beer, and I happen to be using Sapporo Black, which I quite enjoy. And I just ended up mistakenly buying the 22 ounce can and I only need eight ounces, so damn it, guess I'm gonna have to drink it. But let's mix first. Yum, yum. And now in the time that the steaks finish smoking, this will start to simmer, come together in a really beautiful way. And that means I just, I guess we'll just stand here and drink my beer, because why not? There's so much flavor in a dark beer. Yum, caramel and interesting flavor. Remember what I say, if you have a choice between two ingredients, use the one that has more flavor. You could use a light beer, or you could use a dark beer that has all those caramel notes and it's deeper and richer and better. Now this is starting to simmer. So simmering is not boiling. You see these little bubbles starting to appear on the top? That's what you want. A little bit of more of that is okay. I don't want to boil the thing away because all the liquid will go bye-bye. This is exactly what you want. Try and keep it about there and 20, 25 minutes will be perfect to start to bring these flavors together. And by the way, you could use any pot, but a heavy bottom one is good. And this technically is considered a Dutch oven. It's big, it's heavy, you can do all kinds of stuff. It can go on the stove like this, it can go in the oven, it can go anywhere. We'll put a link. This one is made by a company called Staub. I really like them, as do the birds who just chimed in. So the link will be below if you want it. Okay, so this is good. Uh, this is almost ready. The steaks are almost ready. We're gonna make some um, smoked biscuits. So I've already made a rub. I'm smoking a couple steaks. I cut up the vegetables. I'm making my own chili. Don't have to go from scratch on everything, ladies and gentlemen. I'm giving you permission not to. So I bought a package of, wait, cheddar garlic biscuit mix. So we'll open this, we'll make the biscuits, we're just going to cook them on the smoker when we're done. So in goes the powder, come on, come on, I want to hurry, go, 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 go. Okay, it gets uh, two things, it gets maybe three things. Allow me just to consult the package, it gets milk, it gets cheese, it gets butter, okay. It gets a cup of milk. gets a cup of sharp cheddar that looks like that, I think. Maybe that's too much. We'll find out. Butter's melting, so it's not there yet. So I can start to mix this. Look, we made biscuits the other day. Oh, this is dry as... 
toast, man. Did I put too much? Well, I need the butter, but let's take as much butter as we can. Now mix. Ah, okay, the last of the butter. Final mixing. Oh. And now you're supposed to drop these by like quarter cupfuls. But I want to be anal, so I'm going to do this. Here's my little quarter cup guy. I'm just going to grease this and my little cookie cutter thing. And now we'll get quarter cupfuls in here. Put it in here and kind of pat them down so they look like that. Now we're talking. And repeat. It's unnecessary. There's no reason I have to be doing this other than I like uniformity. I probably should have lived in a communist society. I like everything the same. I like the art on my walls to be even, perfectly spaced. Somebody's gonna take that the wrong way. Here we go, here we go, come on, come on, come on. Max, give me a read of the temperature, please. 128. 128? Okay, I need to take it off. I thought I set it for 127. I think I turned the alarm off. Okay, hold on, coming. I gotta get something to put him on. Damn it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's do this. Yank this out. Put that down. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. Number two. Okay, let's close it up. We'll let it get the temperature. Then we'll put the biscuits on. Okay, a couple more, and we're good. There they are. I mean, I gotta get up to 425, so it'll take a second, it might be a little bit longer. But this will be about 15 minutes, those guys will come off. In the meantime, we can let the steaks cool a bit and then cut them up. And look how gorgeous they are. Wow. Should we have a little bite first? That would be the right thing to do, wouldn't it? This little tiny piece. Beautiful color. Look at that. And this is an end. The inside's gonna be even better. Just one little gorgeous bite. Mmm. Oh my. Juicy, flavorful. The spices are amazing, but they're enhanced by the little bit of sugar that we put in. That will now be enhanced by a sip of this. that will now be enhanced by one more gorgeous bite. Look how beautiful that is. This is nothing official, just let me say that, but I'm just gonna give myself a sense of what this whole thing might be like if I was ready to have a bite of it now. It's hot. Oh my God. All right. I shouldn't have done that. All I want to do now is just eat all of this and all of that. It's ridiculous. The way for the biscuits. Everybody just calm down. I'll let these rest for a minute. We'll cut them. The biscuits will be ready. It'll be a marriage. One beautiful, delicious freaking marriage. And we're there, so it's time to cut up the steaks into mouth-watering, absolutely delicious bite-sized pieces. Okay. So this guy comes on here. Oh gosh. We just take this little tip off. So here's what I'm gonna do. Oh my gosh. Look at that's so perfect. I don't want pieces like this. I mean, I just want to throw that in my mouth. But yeah, you think about how people are going to eat the food. You got to make these bite-sized pieces. So pieces like this, that's a, that you can, you can deal with. I mean, think of how your guests are going to consume something because that's, 
That's problematic to give him a giant piece, right? So just continue on then. Wow. And for those of you that are looking at this thinking, oh, Sam, it's too rare. I cannot eat that. And trust me, I will hear from you. Uh, a, it's not. And B, if you stick it in the chili long enough, it will continue to cook even more and become that gray, overcooked, well done that some of you seem to desire. I don't really know why. Ah, <sighs> mamma mia. Mamma mia, this is gorgeous. I'm telling you, the little, the little seasoning that's on this is simple and so damn good. You know, look, it's, it's, it's a uh, ribeye. So you, you have to work your way around little bits of fat and that's okay. It's worth it because of how unctuous it is. And it is super unctuous. You know what I'm saying? Super unctuous. Unctuous, we need to look it up. It means like, like a, like a, a like to me, like a fatty kind of mouthfeel. I don't know if that's right. Stand by, nobody move. Let's look up unctuous. I hope you, you look up words you don't know because you need to, we all need to. We don't want to sound dopey. Unctuous. Unc, unc, unctuous. No, that's not it. Unctuous. Unctuous. Excessively or ingratiatingly flattering. That's not right. Having a greasy or soapy feel. Well, that's disgusting. It's not what I meant at all. I mean, a delicious fatty mouthfeel. That's what I mean. If that's not what it means, well, it should. I don't care what it really means. Let's make a little bowl, shall we? And get a biscuit. And look, oh, they didn't keep their shape like I wanted, but they'll be okay. Hello, kids. Oh, they smell really good, I have to say. Watch, let's pick one. This guy, I have a little butter left. That can't be a bad thing, can it? No, it can't. So now here's how this will work. Let's get some chili from here. One nice scoop. And by the way, notice how thick it is. For me, there's nothing worse than a watery chili. That's not chili. This is chili. But wait, don't stop there. Now we need the steak. So we take some <laughs> steak. Oh my gosh. A little mix. Give me out two things. For me, sour cream. And of course, oh, some cream. Boom, look how crazy that is. That's what we're talking about. Now that's freaking chili. And here we go. Some chili, a little sour cream, some green onion, and a bite of steak. We refer to this as a, oh, oh, oh wait, wait, fall off. This is a composed bite. I put it together just for me, perfectly. Hang on, I wasn't sure. Mm. Mm. Like a perfect level of heat. It's great. The steak is great. The chipotle chili powder is great. The Sapporo beer, the dark beer is great. And these smoked biscuits, mm. Could have done them in the oven, but we did them in the smoker because it was already hot and it was sitting right there. Question is, will it have picked up any extra smoke flavor? Certainly has some smell. Not a ton. A little bit, but A, it's a good party trick, and B, the thing is already there. I'm going to the house and start heating up shit in there, but then you can do this. Oh, snap. I don't even know what to think. I said to Max, when I took that bite before, put the camera down. I go, I think it's the best chill I've ever made. He goes, there's the title. I go, but if you say that, people are gonna go, clickbait, dude, clickbait. You're just saying that shit. Okay, it's not clickbait. I mean, look at it the way you want. 
That is the best jelly I've ever made. I don't care what you think. I care what some of you think. I don't care what the haters of you think. Newsflash. Do this. Take the biscuit. Bust some pieces up. Then you can go like this. And get them with a bite of the, of the steak. My new favorite chili. Okay. You like, you comment, you subscribe, you, you engage with us. And that means an awful lot. It's a, it's, a, it's a crazy thing that we appreciate so much. Someone at my restaurant, Not Not Tacos, the other day said, you say that at the end of every app, and I think you mean it. I said, I do mean it. I go, you, if you like me on the episodes, you'll like me in real life. That being said, if you hate me on these episodes, you're going to hate me in real life. I am what I am, and that's all I am. Thanks for hanging out. Make this, and you can get this. If that means flavor, then I am effing delicious. So many people have bought these. How great would it be if you walk into a bar and there's another person in the same shirt? Not like two women walk into the bar in the same dress. Now, that's not cool, but... Two of you, you know what this means. This means that we need some hand signals so you know that they know that you know you all watch the same uh, thing on YouTube. Oh. Holy shit. Bust up the biscuits. All right. You could sit there and watch me eat for an hour because that's what's going to happen. Okay, Max just reminded me. We're taking the next two and a half? Yeah, three. Three weeks off. So no, no new episodes, um, but we'll put, uh, we'll put old ones there that you can rewatch. It'll be fine. April Fools. I didn't want to do that joke. It was Max's idea. It was a stupid joke. Better not make it. If it makes it into this episode, I'll be really pissed. See ya.